Right, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Tomorrow is going to be the oath taking ceremony. All uh, speculation has been put to rest. All these leaders have come together. This re reflects, showcases that the, it is a show of strength that has been put up by Mahayuti. Now, um, also, uh, let's try to figure out who are the leaders from the party high command in Delhi who are going to be arriving in Maharashtra, arriving in Mumbai for this uh, oath-taking ceremony, which is going to be a grand affair. Megasti, if you see, it is going to be a grand ceremony tomorrow at the Mumbai's historic Azad Maidan. More than 70 VVIPs are expected to be present at Azad Maidan, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, uh, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari, and all other several leaders of the BJP, JP Nata, will also be present. Along with that, uh, uh, around 22 chief ministers of the other states of the ruling NDA government will also be present tomorrow. And along with that, all the industrialists and artists of various sectors and industries will be present. So, all the leaders, uh, the artists, industrialists, businessmen will be present tomorrow at Azad Maidan. And it is going to be a big grand event, uh, which is going to take place tomorrow at Azad Maidan in the evening at 5 p.m. So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also be present. So, if you see, all the preparations have been started at the Azad Maidan for tomorrow's event. And if you see, all the uh, security uh, security aspects are also being uh, observed. And the police is doing, has done a big deployment in Mumbai around Azad so that there's no uh, situation of law and order arises. So if you see, all the preparations are underway for tomorrow's grand oath taking ceremony. And once again, uh, Devendra Fadnav is to take oath as the chief minister for the third time. Okay. As also, chief you know, it's interesting Mahara. to see that we have Nirmala Sita Raman, the finance minister, who has also arrived on this very grand occasion. It definitely reflects the importance that the party high command gives, the BJP gives for this massive Maharashtra landslide victory by the Mahayuti, where BJP has been the single largest party with the maximum number of seats. Mega, if you see Nirmala Sitaraman, the Union Finance Minister, and Vijay Rupani were appointed as observers for the Maharashtra. And if you see, yesterday they arrived in Mumbai. Today they had a meeting with all the. First they had a meeting with the BJP core committee leaders. After which they had a meeting with the BJP legislative party. So wherein they unanimously elected Devendra Fadnavis as the leader. So if you see, uh, Nirmala Sitaraman and Vijay Rupani too had a key role to play in the in declaring Devendra Fadnavis' name as the group leader. And now it is also been said that Vijay Rupani and Nirmala Sitaraman will be meeting caretaker Ekna Chinde at his Varsha residence where. They will be having a discussion about the cabinet portfolio allocations. So, uh, uh, Vijay Rupani and Nirmala Sitaraman, two key uh, uh, key persons in this uh, Maharashtra Assembly uh, government formation, if you see. And today it is said that in the evening, after meeting the governor, they will be meeting Ekna Chinde and will be discussing about the cabinet portfolio allocations. Nika. Right, absolutely. Now, also, uh, is there likelihood that uh, at some point of time, Piyush Goel uh, is also going to be perhaps participating in this meeting that is being held between the Mahayuti leaders and the governor or likelihood of him also being present in uh, in tomorrow's uh, uh, mega uh, 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 grand affair where Devendra Fadnavis is going to be uh, formally taking oath as chief minister. If we see tomorrow all the top leaders of the BJP that is uh, Huge Goel, Nitin Gadkari, JP Nadda, Amit Shah, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Rajnath Singh, all these top leaders are expected to be present because if you see it is going to be a big grand event at the historic Azad Maidan in Mumbai. As I said earlier, more than 70 VVIPs are expected to be present. Not just leaders, but also industrialists and artists from various fields are expected to be present. And all the invitations will be sent by tonight to all the of uh, VVIP. So if you see uh, BJP leaders, all the top BJP yeah. leaders will be present along with that. All the chief ministers of the ruling NDA government in the other states will also be present. Uh, Pramod Sawant, who is the chief minister of the neighboring state in Goa, is also expected to be present tomorrow in Mumbai. So all the chief ministers, all the leaders, union leaders uh, and the uh, BJP national president JP Nadda, all these leaders are expected to be present tomorrow at Azad Maidan in the evening for the grand oath taking ceremony which, is, which will take place in the evening at 5 p.m. in Mumbai. Right, absolutely. Also taking a look at the other side where the defeating party, the Mahavikas Agadi at this point of time is also contemplating discussing the 
it, what went wrong. Congress at this point of time, the party high command has blamed it on the Maharashtra Congress leaders. There has no, there has not been a single, uh, 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 you know, person, single leader who has emerged as an individual who can carry forward the Congress Maharashtra party because there's, their performance has been dismal. Because if we see the result what Congress got in the recent Lok Sabha elections, after that Congress was very much confident that once again the people of Maharashtra will give them a mandate in the Maharashtra Assembly elections. But if we see at the results, the results are totally vice versa and the people have given a mandate to the Mahayuti. And when we, when the leaders of Shivkana UBT spoke, they also said that Congress was overconfident. If we see Ambadas Danwe, the opposition leader in the Maharashtra Legislative Council, also said that now Uddhav Thakre should make a decision of moving out from the Mahavikas Agadi because there is the PMC, that is the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation election, which is set to take place in uh, Feb 2025 or March. So, uh, if we see all, not just Congress leaders, but all the leaders of the Mahavikas Agadi have also now started blaming Congress because they feel that Congress was overconfident of the way. Uh, they got in the Lok Sabha and it, not just uh, Shiv Sena UPT, but if you see there are even Congress, other uh, Congress leaders who were in, uh, not in front of the camera, but off the record has said that the uh, uh, Congress did not work as they had worked in the Lok Sabha. They were overconfident, the leaders were overconfident. And now the blame is going on Nana Patole, who was the Maharashtra Congress President Chief. And he also met Malikarjan Kharge Rahul Gandhi last week. So all discussions are taking place within the Congress that where this Congress falls short of the FTC because the results what have come have gone uh, 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 totally to the Mahayuti. The mandate has gone to, to the Mahayuti and if you see at the Mahayuti yeah. then Shusena UBT who has got the majority. Right, so, absolutely. Uh, I am just going to intimate you know, you know, visuals coming on your on, 